Welcome to Top Steps Funded Trader Interview. I'm Eddie Horn, and today we've got Michael with us. Michael, one of our newest funded traders, uh, going through the top step process, working hard, passing the trading combine, and getting to that promised land, the funded account. But before we get into that, I want to remind you, make sure your pencils are sharpened. Make sure there's ink in your pen because taking notes can and will benefit you in the long run. Now let's get to our funded trader, Michael. Michael, how are you? I'm great as always. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. And I hope everybody that is watching and listening uh, is having a good day too. So um, Michael, let's, let's start this out. We're going to fire it up. Uh, tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself and, and where you're from. Okay, I'm Michael, and I'm, I just turned 20 a couple days ago, actually the day I passed my combined trading, so that's really awesome. And I'm from South Korea, but for educational purposes, I've been living in Canada for like five, six years, and then in the United States, in Illinois, Chicago, for last two years. So yeah, let's go Chicago. Hmm? Woo, Chicago! <laughs> yeah, so I'm just studying financial engineering as my major, but since it's financial engineering, it's more like it's engineering, but also it's in the financial field. So I got interested in those trading. So that's how I started trading also. So that that's what got you interested. There wasn't a, a buddy, a friend, an uncle or uh, something you saw an advertisement that said, you know, learn how to trade or trade. Um, this sort of brought you to it. Um, actually, I started to trade like stocks like it's my first time trading in like October, September of 2020. So it's been two years now. So everything was going crazy because like there was a huge market drop in March and April, but everything just like went up like all the way, even higher after that. Yeah. So I've seen many other people around me like making some good money, also lose a lot of money too. But yeah, most of them made money from the huge boost up. So I think that's how I got interested in trading. And from then I just learned to trade and I lost a lot of money when I first traded, but I learned from like losing. So after like each losses, I like thought of what, what could I, have, I have done much better or right. in the future, what should I do instead? And I think losing is a process of making me better. You know, if, if we didn't experience failure, we wouldn't know how to be any better. Right. Um, so, I mean, that's, it's part of the process and, and, mm -hmm. and, and you gotta, uh, especially in this business, you gotta understand that losing is part of the business. Right. Um, do you have any education before you started here with top step? Um, not really. I have been learning to trade by myself. So I have three like steps of learning. So first one is just on YouTube or either in book, I learn about whether it's an indicator or it's a concept. I just, learn what it does, like the basic fundamental stuff. And then I go back to the past charts. So I apply it and find out what I learned from the YouTuber books and then see, find it from the past charts and search for patterns or like anything I learned. And then once I feel like I'm more confident with those concepts, uh, then I move to the actual like present time, real time charts and then apply it to make sure like everything I learned from past charts and applied it there is also working in real time. So I think that's self-education, I guess. So sure. not, not much from other traders, but sure. yeah, I learned to trade myself. Now, Michael, what are you trading now? Um, currently I'm just only trading features and options on combine. I only trade NASDAQ. So NQ and crude oil, just those two. So you like a lot of action, huh? You're like, right. you like a, a moving market or nothing. Um, right. All right. Uh, let's talk about Top Step. Now, how long have you been with us? Um, I think it's less than a month now, about a month or three weeks. Okay. And and you, you caught on quickly. And uh, wow, that's, you know, I, honestly, that's, that's pretty impressive. That's pretty Thank impressive. You. So um, props to you. Um, Mike, let's break it down now. Well, there's got to be some weaknesses. There's right. got to be some weaknesses. And of course, obviously, you're showing a lot of strengths. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your weaknesses. What would you say would be um, your, your top weakness in trading? 
Um, my top weakness would be probably psychology, which would be hard for many other traders too. So by psychology, first of all, it would be like cutting losses because always you feel like, oh, it's going to go up or it's going to go down. Like, man, like what's going to happen like afterwards? Like, would it go the other way if I sell it or close the position? You know, those mentalities, it really affects your trading. So when I first started trading Combine, like, you know, like since it's a funded account, the requirements for losses are pretty tight to be honest. Right. So of course it's a good thing because it makes you like focus more on PNL or like rate, like, you know, better entry points and like have a, having a tight stop losses. So it helps you manage your risk, but also at the same time, because I was a more of an aggressive trader who cared more about like how much potential profits I can make and didn't really care much about the risk, how much I can lose. So I was having a bit of trouble finding a better entry points with better returns and lower, lesser risk, and then also cutting some losses. And also when you lose like two, three trades in a row, that's been a typical issue for me because I felt less confident with my entry points or my strategy. So I used to, I tend to make a bad decision. So I think having a strong mentality and psychology is an important thing which i should practice more on it's very important um mm -hmm. I, I believe it all starts upstairs uh with a good mindset i mean we're all looking at the same thing you know mm -hmm. we've all got fairly the same same charts indicators uh we're watching the same movement right and it's just a matter of you know managing your account and managing yourself right so. now um michael what qualities make a good trader? I think the be like the most important quality for trader is endurance. So of course, as being a trader, you'll have a losing day. You have you're gonna have a winning day, but at the end of the day, the winner isn't the one who's making the money or who's losing the money, but who just keeps doing it. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, I've lost a lot of money when I first like got into stocks trading but I didn't give up and I just worked harder and harder to just like become better, reflect on my losses and then make myself better trader. I remember that seeing a statistics that like over 90% of the traders like quit trading within the first one or two years. And then the rest like 5% quits within like next three, four five years. So like that statistics show you that, like a lot of traders going to lose at one point, but the, what actually matters is, are you going to step up from that loss and then like learn from it and get better? So on Instagram or many other sources, you can see really, really successful traders. And those traders once also have faced like huge losses, really, really bad, like 100K, maybe even losses, but they're like standing right there because they didn't give up when they lost. I think the most important trait for a trader is not giving up, but actually learning from your losses. Right. And so, yeah, like we, we mentioned before, it, it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's not how many times you fall off the horse. It's how many times you brush yourself off and you get back on. Right. And, uh, you know, that's going to get you moving forward. Mm -hmm. Now, Michael, let me ask you, what do you like most about Top Step? I think the strict rules are like one of the, best things about top step i know like it's controversial because like strict rules make you like fail more often and i was part of those people at first but as i trade more and more in top step and like learn from failures because honestly like when i was first getting used to the top step requirements and rules i failed multiple times but from that i learned to risk my like manage my risks risks properly and then like get better as a trader itself so I think those strict rules might work against you at first, but later on, it, it's going to help you benefit you to become a better trader. How about the rules? You're speaking about rules. Uh, what one rule helped you the most? I think the daily loss limit would help me the most because it's the most basic thing, but also it's the most efficient rule. Some people, like they think, for, for an example, 50K account, 
a thousand dollar daily loss limit is a bit too tight because it's only two percent of the account. But also at the same time, you don't know whether you're gonna win tomorrow or the day after. And you know, two percent seems small, but if it if it if the loss gets compounded, it's gonna affect your like account size really, really negatively. So I think like not losing is the best strategy in the market. So right. Well, right. well, yeah, of course, of course. Well, that's, you know, it, it, a lot of traders ask the question, gosh, how much, how much can I make today? Which right. is the wrong question. Mm -hmm. The right question is how much can I afford to lose today? Right. That's going to keep you in the game. That's mm -hmm. going to keep you in the game. Now, Michael, besides trading, and being successful and being young, good looking guy. Um, <laughs> what you got any hobbies, collection, sports, music? Um, I really love cars. So actually last night I went out for a drive at in like 12, like past midnight with my friends. And you know, like being young, like it's all about <laughs> like college life and oh, like going boy. out for a drive with friends. I think I love the most about that. Yes, I remember that many, many moons ago. <laughs> uh, we we called it cruising. You oh just, yeah, it's cruising. Just anywhere, just go anywhere. Well, also it's in suburb Chicago, so no matter how far you go, it's all cornfields. <laughs> well, yeah. Once you get out of the city, I mean, the city is sort of like you know, and then once you get out in the country, yeah, right. it's it's you know, come out to the burbs. We got some mm -hmm. nice driving areas there. Yes. All right. Well, Michael, thank you very much here. But before you go, um, I want to lay on you the surprise question. Mm -hmm. The surprise question. All right, Michael, here it is. If you could time travel, when would you go and where? Well, a lot of people would actually say, oh, yeah, I would go to like 2010 and buy a Bitcoin. But since that's a cliche, I wouldn't say that. But, but you could. You uh, could. But actually, I have a younger brother and he doesn't like studying, of course, because he's young. He's like 14 and he just likes sports we're like currently i'm just suggesting him why don't you like learn to trade because trading is not all about money but also it's something you can do for your rest of your life but also that thing also like that's what i regret about myself because i started to trade when i was 19 or 18 so maybe i want to go to the past when i was even younger and then maybe even trade like start trading learning to trade with like even hundred dollars and because like even if it's a small amount of money, it's going to help you like all those concepts, all you like study when you're young and when your brain's like still learning, it's going to help you a lot. So I want to go to past when I was younger, like elementary school or middle school, and then just talk like tell myself, oh, you got to start learning to trade. Okay. So, yes, I, I, I thought maybe you'd be going back to kindergarten and and <laughs> teaching some of these kids how to trade. Michael, thank you very much for uh, being with us here today. Now, just so everybody knows, Michael came straight from school, rushed here. Um, but Michael, thank you very much for being with us here today. Um, hey, don't forget, like and subscribe because I like you and I'd subscribe for you if you ask me. Um, <laughs> but anyway, always, Michael, any last words? Always, whether you're a trader or not, just consider just trading it's awesome it's the best like job or hobby you can have i think and don't lose don't lose don't lose yeah. folks don't, don't lose. lose it's part of the business yes all right i'm eddie horn stay focused stay positive trade well take care